Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? I watched the movie The Artist last night. The Artist won Best Picture, as you know, in this year's Academy Awards. And also, one of the other awards it won was Best Actor, Jean Desjardins. Now, the movie is directed by a name I can't pronounce. Wrote it down on this bad boy right here. Uh, Mikhail uh, has a Vegas. Uh, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Try my best. I'm sorry. Uh, and this movie is amazing. I'm sorry. I, I love this movie. I, you know, I didn't think I was going to like it that much. My girl rented this, and I kind of wanted to see it, but I was in no big hurry. And this is a movie I, I was very entertained by, very caught up in. And um, so here it is. Uh, the movie stars Jean Desjardins and Bernice Bejo. And I hope I'm getting those names right. The movie focuses on two fictional Hollywood stars of the late 1920s and early 1930s. Uh, Jean Desjardins plays silent film sensation George Valentin, who is on top of the world. His career is, is going nowhere but up. He's adored by the people. Like His movies make mad money. And at a premiere, he bumps into a female fan who, right off the bat, you can tell sparks fly. So. The press gets a hold of this, starts snapping pictures, it's in all the papers, it's the talk of the town of who is this mystery girl played by Bernice Bejo, and then you meet up with her later and she's in a Hollywood lot for an audition. They call for dancers, she auditions, she gets it, and that's the only reason she's there of course in Hollywood is to become a big star, like they all do. And it just so happens the movie this girl is an extra in is a movie of George Valentine, and yes, they have a dancing scene together. And right off the bat, they hit it off again. And just come to discover her stage name is Peppy Miller, a great 1920s, 1930s type of name in Hollywood. And so George gives her some tips on how to be famous, and from there, her career goes from extra to main dancer in a film to star of the film. It, it's like this in the few, few short years for Peppy Miller, she just skyrockets up. And while George, on the other hand, well, his goes a different direction, especially when the studio head, played by John Goodman, announces that film is going to go in a new direction. It's no, nowhere going to be silent. Uh, we're introducing sound, and it's, we're introducing the talkies, and George Valentin just thinks, oh, this thing is going to come and go, it's going to be a fad, I'm still going to be on top, and, well, we see what happens to him. I just love the writing of this movie. I love the performances, this, uh, you know, especially by our two main characters. Uh, you see how George Valentine has to, to deal with this new, new era in film, this new, new wave of, of things that are going to be the future that we all know. Uh, and you just see how he deals with it and you know you you see everything he's going through at home he has an estranged wife played by Penelope Ann Miller and just just that's that's a rocky relationship and you just see that he, he just doesn't take the talkies as as well as he should and on the other hand you see Peppy Miller like I mentioned she skyrockets the the world is her oyster and and she takes that diamond right out of it. And I love the both performances by Jean Desjardins and Bernice Bejo. Uh, Jean Desjardins just stole this movie. Actually, they both stole this movie. Uh, their performances, they fucking knocked it out of the park with this. And they didn't have to say a word, which was great. And that's another thing I liked about it. Just, just story told by actions and our movements. It's, it's nice to see that. You get a real appreciation for, for that type of film back then in this movie. And like I said, Jean Desjardins deserved the Academy Award he got. He was amazing in this. And also Bernice Bejo, she has some look about her. I, I just can't put my finger on it. She has an interesting look, a different look. And I would love to see her in more. And, and you, yeah. I've fallen in love with Bernice Bejo, folks. There you go. She she was amazing in this. I don't know if she got nominated. If she didn't, that's a crime. She really should have. She was really good in this. And I'd like to see more of Bernice Bejo. Just other things like, like just the writing and the cinematography was great because the movie looked so old and 
but yet so new, so different, so original, even though we're going back to, to the 1920s and the 1930s, and just different shots. It just seemed like a very just classic old-time movie. There's, there's a hell of a dream sequence in here that's pretty damn funny where uh, George Valentine uh, first hears about sound coming into pictures, and he has this this nightmare, um, and I'm not really spoiling anything, you, you, but uh, there's a scene with a feather that, that's predictable uh, when you see it, and, and it's funny. I, I just love how they how they just film this nightmare sequence and just the different camera angles, like just the old black and white films. Just the music just was awesome too, and it really helped this movie a lot. The the, the writing, the filming, the musical score. It was on point with everything, and especially just certain scenes like where you see like in a studio uh, office hallway and stairwell where our two main characters meet after uh, not seeing each other since the movie they filmed together. And just the way that the stairwell looked in the hallways, it looked something out of like an old Charlie Chaplin movie, you know, just an old black and white film. Just that authenticity, authenticity, excuse me, was there and it looked beautiful, it looked amazing. And that's what I really loved about this movie, just the authenticity of things. They really hit the nail on the head with this one. And the casting, I can't mention this enough, besides our two main characters, um, our supporting cast, uh, you know, like I said, Penelope Ann Miller does an amazing job as the uh, estranged wife of uh, George Valentine. You also have John Goodman, like I said, as the uh, studio executive, and he does an amazing job in this. It's always good to see John Goodman. One second. There you go. Didn't take many breaths in doing this review. I don't know why I'm trying to get it all in one breath, but uh, <laughs> there you go. Also, you have James Cromwell. Again, does an amazing job. All the performances were amazing, and who would have thought this would be as, as big of a movie as it was? But James Cromwell plays the uh, loyal driver for George Valentine, and he, you know, you really feel for this guy because he really cares for this guy so much. He's been loyal to him for years, and he kind of goes on that downward fall with him. And then, kind of almost the uh, third star, besides. Uh, Jean Desjardins and Bernice Bejo was Uggy, who plays the dog. Uggy uh, was basically George's confidant. George would have rather seen the dog than see his wife in this movie. And uh, the dog's almost like the conscience. You know, he he doesn't. He's basically man's best friend. He he doesn't want to see George Valentine go into this downward spiral that he may go if you hadn't seen the movie. And yeah, there's, if you haven't seen uh, The Artist, folks, yeah, definitely check this out. And I forgot, even the casting, like I mentioned, the, the stars and the supporting cast, just even little bit parts, like, holy shit, they get this person in this person, you see, like, Missy Pyle in this, you see Joe Murray, Ed Lofter, uh, Beth Gant, yeah, just, they, and the fat guy from Borat, yeah, you... Just everything was on point with this, and this movie was amazing. It definitely deserved the Academy Award. And uh, if you have, guys haven't seen this movie yet, uh, it's in Redbox or it's on video demand. Uh, go to your Redbox, go to your TV, just order the movie, rent the movie. It's a very enjoyable movie. Uh, you know, it, it takes you back and it gives you appreciation for the beginnings of film. Um, it's more or less a love letter. So. Check this movie out, The Artist. It's well worth a watch. Till next time, folks. Bye.